Oh, I don't like to see traps set where people aren't checking them. So we're going to spring that one for them. All right, here's what we're going to do today. I am at a uh, spot where a few days ago I was doing some metal detecting. We're a good ways from the nearest town, although there is a, a shopping center not too far away, maybe half a mile that way. And I was metal detecting through here and I could see something up in the woods, blue tarp. And <laughs> I see some movement down there, so I'm going to switch your gaze. See it? Uh, yeah, okay. Those are deer. And the reason I was kind of freaking out is this, is that I saw a blue tarp up, you know, out in the woods in front of me. So I went over there to kind of investigate it because I'm always looking for stuff, looking at stuff. And I found what appeared to be a huge homeless camp. And I just kind of stayed on the side because I didn't want to like get, <laughs> get mobbed by a bunch of angry, drunken uh, people and uh, I, we just kind of left it at that. Apparently the farmer saw the tarps in there, maybe when he was harvesting the fields, I don't know exactly when, but, and he kicked them out of here. So the camp should be vacant. When I was coming up through the woods, I noticed that there were uh, like flower pots in the woods, black flower pots. And generally speaking, whenever you see those away from a house, that means that someone's grown marijuana uh, you know, illegally. Could be some bad hombres in here. <laughs> have to laugh whenever I say that. And if you know, you know. Okay. Yeah, look, this is what's going on here, man. See, this is all chopped down. This is a tree someone chopped up. So they probably had the marijuana growing in this little patch right here. Uh, cause they took up some of the trees so only filtered light came down. So the police could not see them with uh, helicopters. I'm just gonna look, I'm just kind of looking to see if there's any divots where the plants were, but that, this could be several years old by the looks of it. But that's 100% what I was seeing. All right, so the deer were right down in here, which tells me if there's people in the camp, the deer wouldn't have been there. So I don't think there's anybody around. <laughs> that's a, you know what that is? That's a homemade machete. It's like a piece of thin piece of steel but that's sharp right there that isn't but that looks kind of homemade some more trees cut down so they would have had another another uh, grouping of marijuana plants in here i'm kind of going slow to make sure i don't see anybody in there now uh, you'll notice how i'm dressed in my green and my vest and stuff um, sometimes that gives me a little bit of an advantage when I'm doing this kind of thing because I look like I might be law enforcement and people have a tendency to scatter. <laughs> so that's why I do this. Well, not the only reason, but that's one of the reasons. Here's some more deer beds. That's probably the deer that we just saw. That tells me that this is going to be okay. There won't be anybody around. ladder probably stole that somewhere boy I tell you one thing I was down the hill there when I was looking at it and it looked like it was huge compared to what it is it's actually a little bit smaller I thought that thing was like three stories tall it must be where they slept sometimes Right now I'm looking for uh, trails where people walk because if there's a lot of if there are people still using this they would have uh, the leaves would not be just laying around like that looky there there's the uh, flower pots I was telling you about weed plants that's why there's flower pots all through the woods right there the marijuana's these are for drying or put the buds on that to dry them. So I'm just kind of looking close, making sure there's no one here. And uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty safe. Look all the tools for cultivation, I guess. Be 
bean bag. I always like to check these places out too, just to make sure there's no corpses. Because uh, especially when it's really cold in the winter time, sometimes the uh, the alcoholics uh, freeze to death. That's happened many times around here. There's a footprint there, but it's just one, and that could be kind of old. You can see it's kind of doesn't look very fresh. See me? <laughs> Looks like they left a bunch of gear right there. There's a duffel bag, army duffel bag, or military duffel bag, and some stuff. We'll look at that real quick. Makes me wonder, makes me kind of assume anyway, that this is probably uh, a veterans camp. I don't know how many pe other people, how many other types of people would read something like that, which is kind of sad. I mean, you shouldn't have veterans living in the woods. Well, anyone should, no one should be living in the woods. Not in this country, anyway. Now, keep in mind, these people uh, did not have permission to camp here. So I don't feel bad looking through their stuff. In fact, they should have taken it with them, don't you think? When they got kicked out of here. I am sensitive to the plight of the homeless, but to be honest with you, I, I can't say for certainty this is a homeless camp. This could be just a camp that they have out here when they're growing their, their devil's lettuce. But if they didn't leave such a freaking mess. There's a trap. Uh, I don't like to see traps set where people aren't checking them. So we're going to spring that one for them. Luckily, luckily something didn't wander in there and get trapped and starved to death. I don't like animals to suffer. trail here see it going down through the woods and coming up out of the field that's probably deer beautiful stone wall I don't know I guess they took it down and just see the rocks over there troll drain yeah look at that look they're planning on coming back <laughs> they had to have stolen that. I mean, why the heck would they have an electric freaking piece of equipment out here? I guess it's possible that when the farmer kicked them out of here, they just left and maybe they're going to come back this summer because once they plant the fields, uh, which are right there, once a the farmer plants that, I mean, he'll never come back out here again until, until he's ready to harvest it. So they can move right back in. That might be what they're planning to do, because they sure did leave a lot of gear here. I mean, just, uh... You know, East Wing hammers, they're not cheap, as they didn't used to be. Wow. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off, I guess. Let's see a little something down here in the woods, you take a peek at it. Looks like bags of trash or something, I'm not going to worry about that. I mean, that's kind of what a, a homeless camp would look like. 
out here in the woods and they're all over America. I mean, I could, I could probably take you to a dozen of these uh, just in this general area, but I don't like to mess with them too much. Just, you know, if they're still living there, if it's abandoned, I'm not so, so worried about it. Look at that. Very sad. Okay, well, I guess, um, I guess we'll take off. I'm trying to turn all these containers over so that the water doesn't stay in them. Because that mosquitoes and stuff um, breed in those. So I'll try to turn as many of those over as I can. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back this summer to see if this guy comes back here. Um, I think there's a chance that he might. It'd be kind of interesting to talk to him and find out what his story is. Uh, kind of sad. I hear he got run off. Maybe that's why his stuff scattered everywhere. Um, they're still kind of sad. All right, time to go. Let's get into something else. What do you say?